Hello people, I've just got back from my holidays, hence why I look tired and hungover. But time waits for no man. So, Pico have dropped a bombshell on the VR community and it's just announced Pico 4. Not so much a bombshell and more a rocket high mast to the face of MetaQuest 2. This advanced VR headset is going to change the standalone and PC VR markets forever and I have an exclusive reveal that will make seamless PC VR on the Pico 4 a reality and it's coming sooner than you think, so stay tuned till the end for that reveal. Normally, I would ask here if you're excited, but this time I'm going to say you should be excited. So let's get straight into it then. And remember, we are born to respawn. Before I start, you can now join my channel for exclusive perks, giveaways, and content. So if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please consider joining. Thanks. I'm not going to fluff or espouse why I think the Pico 4 is the most important headset to release this year. I'm just going to tell you, so here is the spec and price, straight out of the box. The Pico 4 will use expensive pancake lenses to make the headset small form factor, light and comfortable. At only 586 grams, this headset is light, feather light, and by placing the 5,300 milliamp hour battery at the back, it is balanced as well. For reference, the valve index weighs 809 grams. The FOV will be 105 degrees and the lenses are 2160 by 2160 per eye LCD panels with a 90 hertz refresh rate. The face covering is a lightweight sweat wicking material which is duplicated on the back head support. There also appears to be an optional over the head strap to further alleviate any comfort or balance issues. The reason I say optional is that during the presentation people are seen using the headset with or without the strap. The headset has stepless IPD adjustment so no more messing around with only three settings. It has four cameras for inside out tracking, similar to the Quest 2, but it also has a 16 gig camera mounted at the front for full color pass through. This opens the gate for full color AR on the Pico 4, which is definitely something to get excited about. The controllers are redesigned completely from the Pico 3's rather clunky and cheap feeling offerings. The tracking ring has been moved to prevent occlusion and stop you clattering the controllers together when reloading a pistol or rifle in VR. The headset will offer full hand tracking as well with a demo of air guitar showing a guy playing, well, air guitar in VR. They will also contain high definition feedback via broadband haptic motors and have laser cut grips for added comfort and to prevent slippage. Pico are also working hard on their SKU. With the Pico 5 software release, this includes a slicker interface, social media, but no mention of the much anticipated TikTok integration. The price. The base Pico 4 with 120 gig memory will cost 429 pounds and the 256 gig version will cost the same as the equivalent Quest 2 at £499 in the UK. That's a very aggressive price point and means the Pico 4 will be very competitively priced against its Meta counterpart, which is coming up to two years old and has just had a £100 price bump. Pre-orders for existing Pico owners with their 35% discount will begin on the 23rd of September and this will open up the general public in October with a release date of the 23rd of October. Pico also announced a fitness band to keep an eye on your health goals and may also include full body tracking, which was hinted at during the fitness presentation, though there was no price or release date revealed. This could be a great upgrade for fully avatar integration. Are we finally getting legs for our avatars? Yay! So, phew, let's take a minute to digest that because that headset sounds amazing at that price. My feelings? I have a Pico Neo 3 Link and though we haven't always had a great relationship, Pico have been working hard and the headset is much improved since it released, particularly the DisplayPort integration. However, Pico are moving away from tethered PC VR and you'll be able to utilize their own wireless streaming software to play your PC VR library. They also announced a separate dongle to allow wireless game streaming if your router's Wi-Fi performance was not up to standard. But, and here is the news I wanted to break to you, Gee Godin has just announced on Twitter that Virtual Desktop is coming to all Pico platforms in October 2022, and that is a game changer. Virtual Desktop is a highly optimized wireless PC VR streaming app that makes you playing your PC library an absolutely seamless experience. Just pop the headset on, open Virtual Desktop and start playing. It's easy to use and very intuitive, and my main way of playing my PC, Steam and Oculus libraries. So, my honest opinion is I think there's finally some serious competition for Meta. The Pico 4 at that price is seriously tempting, but should you drop the Meta platform and jump ship to Pico? Well, as always, this depends. I have a large library of MetaQuest 2 games that I still enjoy to this day, but I will be buying a Pico 4 to use as a replacement for my Valve Index to play PC VR wirelessly, utilizing virtual desktop for that seamless experience. Is the Pico 4 for everyone? 
If you only play standalone and already own a Quest 2, then no, not yet. But if you use your Quest 2 to play standalone PC VR, then yes, the upgrade in screen clarity, colour pass-through, and that super lightweight will make the headset very tempting. Me, my pre-order is going on on the 23rd of September. I will be claiming my 35% discount and can't wait to get my hands on the Pico 4. Just as a side note, the presentation did also talk about the Pico 4 Pro with its eye and face tracking, but no price, release date or availability were mentioned. Also, speaking of availability, the headset will only initially be released in Europe and Asia, but a stateside release has been promised. So keep an eye on the channel for that. As always, what do you think? Will you be investing in a Pico 4? Are you sticking with your Quest 2 for the moment? Or do you have another idea? You know the drill, get involved and comment down below. It's been a packed show, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.